They're gonna eat too many of them. Well, but they're yummy. I think you could eat too many of them. Well, yeah. You'd be on the toilet if you ate too many you're of right. them. You're right, you're right. Christine. And we're back. We are. We're back. We've been busy. You've been, we've been busy. Oh, Oklahoma's been in the news. Just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. So I've just been... Just a touch. Yeah. I've been at the Capitol a lot. Yeah. It's like a full-time job. Wait. Oh, wait. Mm. You already have a full-time job. I do. But I would wish there would be funding for it. That would be great. <laughs> Yay. But guess what? What? A fan of ours, Janet, sent us some cookbooks. Janet, Janet, thank you so much. Look what she sent us. Hold on. Look at all these fun little she things. She sent us, okay. What's that one? Bananas. Bananas. And how to serve them. How to serve them. I did make one of these recipes. Was it, it good? Was, it was super dry. Oh. So I, I amended it and put it on my blog. Link down below. Okay. She sent us Aunt Chick's Pies. Ooh, fun. It is just a bunch of pie recipes, all super legit. 1942, the Chickadees of Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're going to have to find out who those Chickadees are. The last one that we and got? And then the last one is uh, Prunes. Add variety to, to, to all what sort of things, <laughs> <laughs> and it's put out by the California Prune Industry. And there's not a date, but we think yeah. uh, mid 30s. You know different. what you need? What? Oh God, she's right. You need the. You're I mean, right. You've been eating junk. You're eat one right. of those right I now. I might eat one of these right now. You know what? I'm just gonna put it on out there, and you can tell all your friends and all your neighbors and everything else. I like prunes. They're good for you. I think they taste awesome. Okay. Because today what are we, we making? are making a oh, bacon, bacon prune, prune sandwich. <laughs> Why are you going to do that to me? When am I going to put my bacon prune sandwich in my, in yeah. my purse to go yeah. up to the Capitol? You're going to brown bag it. <laughs> they're going to, they're not going to want me inside their offices. <laughs> Ooh, Christine. What are, you, mm. what are you getting? Bacon prune sandwiches for no. everybody. What if we made them for the legislators? Mm. Yeah, a gift from Recipe Archaeology. Yeah. Let me tell you how to make a bacon prune sandwich. Tell me what we're doing. You're going to need one cup of cooked prunes. Oh, look at Ooh. Ooh. Cooked prunes. So you're going to need eight yeah. slices of bacon. Bacon! I made that earlier. I know. So oh, that's good. good. You're going to need two tablespoons of chopped sour pickles. There you go. Yeah. That smells sour. Yep. You're going to need two teaspoons of prepared mustard. Mustard. Mm -hmm. You're going to need two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Okay. I then like this. Then you're going to need bread and butter. Okay. Bread and butter? Yeah. I'll tell you why. And then you're going to need lettuce. Okay. So... This doesn't sound terrible, but why the prunes? Because the California Prune Association wants you to eat prunes at every meal. Oh. Oh, my bad. My You're bad. You got a bacon sandwich? I'm put so, some prunes on it. Put some prunes on it. You need a dressing? Put some prunes in Just it. Put some prunes oh, you're in making it. a pot roast? Put I am. Put some prunes in it. Why not? Prunes are good. They're good for Just, you. I don't know how you, this... Oh, you're making ice cream? Put some prunes <laughs> in it. What are you? Why are you questioning this? I don't know because prunes are the best. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you how to assemble <laughs> okay. this. How do we put this whole thing together? Super tell simple. Me. Super easy. Okay. You're gonna uh, cut your you're gonna cut your prunes up into little pieces. Like, you're gonna cut your bacon up into small pieces. Okay. Uh, you're gonna combine the bacon and the prunes, the pickle, the mustard. Oh, these need to be chopped up also. Okay. So you're gonna combine your bacon, your pickles, <laughs> your mustard, your mayo. Then you're gonna butter your bread. Okay. Because why not? Well, yeah. You're gonna put that dress all your salad onto your bread. Add a, add a nice, piece of lettuce. A piece of crisp lettuce and enjoy. <laughs> Let's assemble these sandwiches. I can't wait to taste pickles and prunes together. Mm. So exciting. How are those prunes cutting? Um, very easy. Yeah. They are uh, extremely pliable, if you will. Uh, As they want your intestine to be. They are bending to my will. Who put two and two together with eating a lot of prunes 
and being super regular. I don't know. But Who was that? That like person. The, the Earl of Prune? The so there's a cup of chopped prunes. You know yeah. what? You know what we say every time we have something with pickle in it? Oh, did you hear that? <sighs> that looks gross. It does look gross. Maybe what do we say when we ever have to? Every time we make something that has pickle, we always say, I could use more pickle. I could use more pickle. Are you going to put more pickle in so it? So I'm, I'm wondering if we should just... How much pickle does it say? Two tablespoons. <laughs> you want me to just up it just a little bit? We always want more pickle. Well... Is it like cowbell? <laughs> it's like pickle and cowbell. All right. Just, I need more I need, need more, more pickle. All right. I'm going to chop this bacon up. Okay. Now, there's it. that's something you can never have enough of. Oh, yeah. Bacon all day long. Look at that combination of that dark prune color. We show our friends at home. That's disgusting. Oh, wow. That's so gross. So it's two, two, two teaspoons of teaspoons of prepared mustard. Okay. We'll add those. Teaspoons and then two tablespoons of mayo. Correct. Mm -hmm. Numero uno. And look how easy this was. Oh yeah, it's super quick to just. Something good for the lunch box. <sighs> oh, oh yeah. Man, can you be imagine you're sitting in eighth hour and you're like, mm. okay, guys, go. guys, I call the office. Have somebody come in. Oh my stars in heaven. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, it's very mustardy smelling. That's for sure. Okay. And and this is what, this is it, right? And we're just gonna spread this on buttered bread and add a thing of lettuce. Let's is it toasted? No. I'm gonna go with no. Okay. Let's eat it! Let's eat it. Oh God, do you hear that? Let's hear it. Smell test? Okay. I don't smell any. I just I smell don't. kind of bread and, and, and mustard. It's weird because it I doesn't. I smell mustard. It doesn't smell that bad. Do you like to cut your sandwich diagonal or across? I do. I feel when I cut diagonally, I feel a little fancier. Oh, yeah. And so some days, you know, might just kind of. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. It gives it, it gives it a little je ne sais quoi <laughs> to my sandwich. Yeah, that's the cross section. Mm, can you imagine opening up your lunchbox in 1934 <laughs> and getting this? <laughs> Thanks, Mom, for my bacon sandwich. Thanks. I like that it's white bread. Can I, I say that? Too. I feel like I white bread. Too. I don't know. It, it's like forbidden. Yeah. Like you're doing yeah. oh. something naughty. Yeah. Do when I was in the checkout line, I wanted to be like, this is for my show. I don't actually eat this. <laughs> I because th there's a stigma. Yeah. But it tastes so good. It smells so good. And it'll stay like this for weeks. <laughs> there are that many preservatives yes. in it. Yes. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Hmm. It's sticking my roof in my mouth. Uh huh. It's very mustardy. I'm getting a lot of mustard. It's weird because I don't hate it. Why is this okay? Right? What? Because there's bacon in it. Maybe. I kind of like it. I like it. I kind of do too. Why? I don't know. There's so it many just, other flavors that are in there. But the funny thing is there's not one thing that I could be like, it tastes like blank. What would you, how would you describe this to somebody? I have no idea. I really have no idea. I don't taste the prune. Mm-mm. 
I sort of taste the bacon. I taste the bacon. I taste the pickle. And I get a, I get a crunch of bacon. I, I don't, got, I don't taste a lot of pickle. I think it's because you boiled the prunes. You boiled all the. But they said to. I know it's not a bad thing. Why don't you think it boiled all the flavor out of them? Why is this so good? Look at it though. It's so hideous. You know what? I am floored. I think it's the white bread. White I'm telling you, nice. I know that white bread is like, oh, white bread's not good for you. You know what? I don't. I don't care. Am I a bad mom if I give my kids white bread? Do you know how many things I have eaten? I'm still here. I'm 40. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Doing just fine. Happy play. Cheers, friends. <laughs> Cheers, friends. You know what you guys should do? Yep. One, subscribe. Yes. Link right here. Down yes. Below. Subscribe. Like us on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. Share with a friend. Share with a friend. And you know what? Share prune sandwiches and, with your friends. Yeah. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, oh, yeah. link down below if you want to help us pay for groceries and equipment and stuff like that. Because we need more prunes, evidently. We're going to need a lot more prunes. Yeah, we're going to have to buy, buy more prunes because there's more recipes there to be There are way had. more recipes to be had. And thank Give you. Give to your friends. Thank you to our uh, Patreon supporters. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. You guys are just, you rock. You're the um, best. Hop on over to Instagram. You can see our crazy oh. shout outs. All right. Thanks see for ya. watching, friends. Bye. Do not give your dog prunes. That is a recipe for disaster.